Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that is trying to have a long nobody. And today I am going to do a video where I talk about five Halloween palettes, fall, fall slash Halloween inspired palettes. And I am planning on doing a theme week about these and in October, because that is the Halloween month, I am planning on doing some different theme weeks, so I'm going to do a week with these ones and I'm also planning on doing a week with my four Melt Cosmetics holiday palette. So the Bill Use palettes and the Muerte and Vida palette. So I'm going to talk about these five palettes now that I have picked out and I really want it to be a kind of dark look week and also like maybe a lot of black and uh, you will see so i thought that i was going to show the palettes talk a little bit about them and i think that all of these are available i'm not sure but i think so i will leave the palettes that are available down in my description and i think we just hop into this so okay i thought that four of them were really easy to pick out the fifth one I wasn't sure about and I wanted to do more darker palettes because I just want to do more darker looks right now so these are five palettes that I picked out I maybe have some more that could go as a Halloween palette but I want to use these five so first up is the palette that I thought this was the hardest so I took the whatever palette from Colourpop and I'm not sure that this is still available. This is their red-ish dark palette and I used this a couple of times and I know the first look I did with this one, I did love it so so much. I did use this shimmer and it's just amazing and like this shade is so deep and so easy to work with and it looks really really good. And I just love the depth in this one and I do want to use it more but I don't know when but I can use a palette whenever I want to but yeah so this is one of my Halloween fallish palettes and I want to do something really really maybe I should just do that look and take like a really really deep red to this and uh, yeah this is such a good palette and then of course I couldn't do a Halloween week without my Arcana palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes that I have in my collection. I love it so so much. I've done the Free Looks One palette not that long ago and the shimmers in this palette is out of this world. I love all the shimmers. They are all amazing. I think I used all of them in my Free looks one palette. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. And like this shimmer is so good, and this one is like a dirty goldish. Maybe I can swatch it. It's so creamy, and it's just an amazing, super amazing shade. And it's just, do you see this? It's like so fucking beautiful. <laughs> I just love that one. So. I I can't do this. Oh god. I took my little wet wipe where I had taken off some lip swatches. Um yeah, I, I like can't do a Halloween inspired week without this one because this is beautiful and the formula is so so amazing and the shimmers they are just so so amazing. I just don't know what to do with this yet but I guess that I will do an amazing look because yeah, it's an amazing palette. Then of course I can't do a Halloween week theme without the Moon Spell palette from Lura Beauty. This is the first one and this palette first of all this is like my f absolute favorite palette when it comes to packaging it's it's just everything i want in a palette and the palette looks like this i wish though it was a little bit darker than it actually is it's not that many colors 
that are like really really deep and dark but maybe I don't need to do super dark looks every day in that week but this one I do love this palette this I think it has been in my top favorite palettes for a year um, probably a year that I got it and this palette is just so so good. I love the layout, I love the purple row, the more neutral row and the more green row and I think this is this is an amazing palette. I do really really love it and it's going to be fun to use this again. It was a long time since I did. Yeah, it's going to be fun to use this. And then of course I need to use its freaking bats. It wasn't that long ago since I use this and it looks like this this is one of my favorite palettes and the same here the shimmers are amazing some of the best shimmers i have in my collection and betty bean and shroud they did an amazing job with this and i can't wait for it to be 2023 because then i'm going to buy the halloween palette i want it so bad like so bad it's almost like i want to break my no buy for it i'm not going to because they're going to restock it because they're still restocking this one and I'm going to wait till next year but I want that palette so freaking bad and I do love this palette and I just want to use this more and more and more and just to come up with reasons to use it and it's going to be fun to see what I'm feeling to do this time because I for me, I've done a lot of looks with this. I've done, I, I can't remember if it was, a, I think it was a free looks one palette. And uh, maybe three more looks with it. It's just, it is an amazing palette and I do love it so freaking much. And the last palette that I'm going to use for my week is the Lewis Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. Me and this palette, this is going to be in my yearly favorites and it's going to be really high up. The first time I did use this palette, I have told this so many times, I didn't like it that much. I thought the mattes weren't that impressing, the shimmers were so and so, but the more that I used it, the more I, I just love this. This isn't the most pigmented or... It doesn't give the most payoff, like if I see in my whole collection, but it's something about this. It's just a really, really nice palette and like this shimmer is so good and this shimmer is amazing. And the mattes, I do really love them. Some of them are though pretty like similar. I think it's these two that are kind of similar on the eyes, but that one's the black one is so so good and it's just everything about this palette it screams fall and it screams halloween and it's just an amazing palette and this is the only thing that i've tried from lewis cosmetics i don't know how the other palettes are but this palette is amazing and i love everything about it so that is going to be my five palettes that i'm going to do in my i think it will be my first halloween themed week of October and I'm so looking forward to this and I have noticed now that I have done some theme weeks and I do really really love it. It works really good for me, it keeps me motivated and like picking out palettes. Before I thought it was so boring to pick out like okay I'm going to use these five palettes for this week and I was like what if I don't know what to do? But now, when I'm picking out palettes and put them in my little to-do basket, I just want to film each and every day after work and that usually doesn't happen. But yeah, this works so good for me and you seem to love it. And I don't know, am I like a theme week kind of channel? I have no idea. But these are going to be the five palettes that is coming up in October. And then I'm also going to do a melt, melt holiday collection theme week and I'm so looking forward to that one as well because a limited edition palette that are season based isn't a thing first of all it's 
not to think that I buy it that often. And second of all, if I do buy it, I don't use it that much because I don't know. We can talk about that in some other video. I'm doing it with me and talk about using makeup you have. Enough about that. I do really hope that you will like this and I don't know if you want me to do like presenta presentation, yeah I'm in school. Um, I don't know if you want me to do this because other the other theme weeks I've done I have just like hello this is the new theme for this week but you want me to talk about the upcoming theme and talk more about the palettes because like all of these palettes okay this palette I haven't used that much but these four I have used kind of a lot and I do know what I like about them and I do know how they work so I could do like a really <sighs> review of them and uh, yeah just tell me if you want this do you think this is a good idea or do you like the surprise of the upcoming theme or do you want to know which palettes are coming please let me know in the comments and I going to do what you think. I know it's my channel and I should do whatever I want but if you this is something you want me to do I will happily do it. And yeah I guess that was all for this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!